feel your exhilaration. <laughs> yes, I feel your. Yeah, I I really so. feel that you're pretty. <laughs> I feel very pretty today. Okay, uh, and you have all the right curves now, thank Leia. You. Thank okay. you very much. I've uh, been working very hard. Anything secreta? Um, it's nice weekly sessions at the gym with the personal trainer. Um, I haven't been doing it very very driven. Yes. Um, it's helpful also if I go to books, my husband and I will go to books too. And it's also really helpful when you see photographs of some of your favorite stars. Yes. Peppered everywhere in the gym for inspiration. So I mean I told Christian about the year. Your star is still up there and it's very inspirational. So it's yeah, yeah. This is not an endorsement for Gold's gym, but that's where we go. <laughs> well, you've come to this because of uh, the. Is it because of the need or uh, or the pressure of uh, well, okay. being in the limelight? Yeah, it, it's. I saw what I looked like on TV during the blind auditions for the voice when they started airing about five, six months ago. It's like, oh man, I gotta do something about this. <laughs> then, and, and I think it was just something that started really slowly over many months, and I was in New York for. I good solid two months with my family, and when you're in New York, you're walking everywhere. Um, and I was working a lot, and then I would rehearse stuff during the day, perform at night, and I would really focus on eating protein more and trying to stay away from bad carbs and had a lot of vegetables. And, you know, and, and, and because of just the amount of walking you do in New York, just kind of, so your, your exercise is kind of built into your day, whether you want it to or not. Um, I guess I started losing the weight, and then when I did a concert series in Japan, um, I also would walk to the theater from my hotel, okay. rain or shine, and I just felt, uh, you know what, this is something that I just have to do, and when I came back, after good, that, to do the battle rounds for the voice, you know, I, my diet had changed because I was actually incorporating some exercise during the day, people were noticing that there was something different, and they're like, I mean, you look really, really good. You're, you're, I mean, you're dressing up really nice. And you look really good on TV. So I'm like, it must be, it must be the exercise. It must be that. So I got myself back into the gym and just, just to kind of continue with it. So I guess the inspiration for it was, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm on TV every week. Okay. I better look good. So there was, I guess there was pressure to, to look, to look good. Okay. <laughs> I'm on TV every week. Okay. Wala, na, wala na choice. And given how beautiful the stars are at ABS, CBS, parang, you know what? Parang bawal ang pangit sa'yo. So I, I, I better do something. Can we, can we quantify how many pounds? I don't even know. I, I, don't, I actually don't think it was that much, but I think I just gained a lot of muscle. Lean muscle. Yeah. A lot good, of muscle good, good, good. And, and lost some, some fat. I think there's... Okay. There's that. So I, I don't know, I just feel really healthy, I feel really strong, and and I've not gotten sick in a very long time, so I think just be healthier. You've always been a strong person, from the yeah, time I knew you back. Yeah, okay, okay. okay, we have another inspiration, the the playlist. I have playlist. Okay, have this time on your terms, on your own terms, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yes. The last time, uh, nagpa survey ka ng mga songs na gusto yeah, na. But this time, it's yours. This it's is my playlist. This is stuff that I enjoy listening to, stuff that I enjoy singing that nobody knows about. So I, I, just want, I, just wanted to, I just wanted a show where, yes, let's celebrate 35 years. Without us hitting people over the head that this was okay. an anniversary concert. And we're celebrating 35 years because for many singers, it starts behind the scenes. It starts off with listening to your favorite artist. It starts with singing a song that you hear on the radio that you really, really like. So some of the songs are, some of those songs are here. Okay, from the last 35 years? Uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay, good. But there's a lot of stuff that, because I'm a kid of the 80s, we have stuff from the 80s, we have stuff from the 70s, okay. we have stuff from today, we have things from many, many, many years ago. The first song that I would sing and sing, which my mom would then record. Stuff like that. Okay. Like what? Say so enough. Yeah, like what? I can't. I have to find out. <laughs> no, no preview. <laughs> okay.
Do you want to know, Leia, uh, would you have survived without uh, Ligaya Salamda? I don't think so. I think a lot of my career really comes from her support, her dedication, her, her unwavering and undying love, not just for me, but also for her. Um, a lot of this is because of her, a lot of what I have become as a woman and as a woman. So the answer to that would be, if Kukulasha, Okay. Okay. Take take us back to the time. Uh, I think when you were <laughs> very very young, ano. Me nang hula sa sa iyo ano. Just a tidbit that uh, you would become Miss Philippines or something like that. I know. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you tell us that? that? There was some fortune teller who looked at my face, who looked at me as a baby, right? And he you know, said, "I'm a holy guy. Miss Philippines." very, very tall. I'm only tall when I wear high heels. Um, and I guess the, the suit fair was a little off. It's like Miss Saigon pala. Hindi Miss Philippines. So, the prediction wasn't too far off. But, yeah. So, parang yun know, ang naging kula. I just found it very interesting. It was the truth, uh, actually, Leia, because you, you represented the Philippines very well in all these 35 years? I tried. I tried. It wasn't necessarily consciously now I have to do this work to, you know, to make the Philippines look good. It's not that. It's for me, it's do your work, do your work well. And you will be a reception. It's really, it's really it. I mean, you don't do it for credit. You don't do it for glory. You just do it because this is what you're meant to do. So this is what I'm meant to do with my life. This is my designation on this earth to sing, to make people happy um, okay. and go from there. Uh, Leah, um, last uh, two questions. What else is, is in your bucket list? Give me three. <laughs> Wala. <laughs> bucket list? I don't know. You know, maybe one day, I mean, history class made me very interested in a lot of this. Maybe to see, maybe to one day go to Egypt to see the pyramids or go to Machu Picchu and go, or go see Maya or Incan ruins. I mean, stuff like that. Maybe in my lifetime, I will actually take a vacation to all these different parts of the world and see those things that I've only read about books. I mean, I've gotten to see the Great Wall of China like, while we were on tour in Cinderella, where most of us <laughs> in the cast actually went to the Great Wall and we were tourists and we were, have so many pictures of the Great Wall. And it was just an amazing thing to see. I'm like, oh my gosh, you only see these things in photographs and now I'm walking on the wall. And we, I took like a like this long slide down back to our tourist bus, which was which was awesome. Um, and I got to go to you know in Beijing. I've actually been and I've seen you know and I've seen like the city where the emperors okay. used to be. So I mean, I, so it's, it's more of I need to take an educational trip. So I think that's a bucket list more than okay. performance. Okay, I, I have a list wish for you. I hope you could, you could write a book about your travels as Maybe, well. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, should, that would be fun. A longer form of your column. Yeah. There's like, Do I've I? got a few ideas in my head as for the kind of books that I'd like to write. So okay. now it's just a matter of putting that together. But I have a couple of ideas. One of them, I'm not the owners of the book, but it, I have to be the one to write. I'm not sure how okay. to go about it. Okay. Wikipedia. Okay. Dima Wikipedia. This is stuff that, that no one knows. Okay. Okay. Uh, 35 years. How does it feel to uh, be celebrating uh, your anniversary and still at the top of your game? It feels unbelievable. It feels unbelievable only because there aren't a lot of people that can say that they can celebrate a career this year. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's maybe a handful of, of people. Um, that can say that, and I feel very proud okay, that good. that I'm able to. And I'm thankful to everyone that has been a part of my career in some way. I mean, everybody in the right. Philippines, everyone at Channel 4 with Vivid Love Lea, everybody at Cameron Macintosh's office, everyone at Atlantis Productions, everybody um, at The Voice, <laughs> Gift Gate, ABS-CBN, 
people that have been in some way, shape, or form a significant part of my career, okay. I have nothing but thanks for okay. all of them. And I've lived long enough to be part of it. You've seen it. You've <laughs> seen this career. Okay, last. Uh, the book. Kakaiba, uh, no? Yung celebration. Because you have this book, uh, the, the princess book. We have the princess book. <laughs> and Nakatuwa. it's called Princess Leia. Nakakatuwa nga. It was something that we kind of started in March where Yvette Fernandez, the author, and I were meeting. And we were at her house. The idea was started kind of there after Simply Jesse about Jesse Robredo had been published and had been released. Then with that, we just came to my house. Let's fact check this. Let's see this. Let's check this. Let's check this. And then the illustrations were made. And then we had our book launch just a few days ago. Good. Ah, katuwa because it's it's kind of it's it's a few of the highlights of my 35 years in the book, and it included my wedding because Yvette was my matron of honor. Um, and it was so wonderfully captured. Okay. Touch ka talaga. So sweet. Touch ka talaga. Touch talaga. Okay. And I can serve is uh, the beneficiary of uh, the proceeds from the book. Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, our invitation, uh, Leah. Okay. To everybody watching, please come to see playlist at the PICC. It's a celebration of my 35 years as an actor and as a singer. December 6 and 7, 8 p.m. Directed by Bobby Garcia. Musical director is Jerry Salonga. We are with the ABS-CBN Philharmonic Orchestra. Please come. Please come. You can get your tickets at Ticket World, uh, www.ticketworld.com.ph or give them a call at 891-9999. Thank you.